Excellency. My, my brother. Like the, the spokesman just once one said, there is no difference between believers and Bayasa. The only reason why we have Bayasa is uh, what we Other than that, we are one and the same. That's all I say. My Lord, the wife of the couple of my ancestors, distinguished senators, and members of the House of Representatives that are here. The Secretary to the State Government of Both Rivers and Bayasa, Highnesses that are here with us, distinguished elders of Both Rivers and Bayasa, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Our visit here is especially to wish our brother a happy new year. Well, and this is because we were here a week ago and uh, we came in with a a special visit to the former president, our big brother Adani. And when we came into Bayelsa, we did notify him that we were here. But because I had my own personal engagement, and we were somehow clashing with the time, I said, if I have to visit him, it would be a problem for me to meet up. So I somehow couldn't see him. And it wasn't proper. So I said that it shouldn't be anyone. That I was going to come specially in the new year to visit him. <laughs> now, my visit today. Initially, it was just a bad visit, but on my way here, I changed the purpose of that visit. Let it not be a bad visit. Let it be a unification meeting. Our visit here today is to tell our brother we want to work together for common purpose, the development of both states. <laughs> we have a lot of things in the United States that are jointly owned by these two states. It is our desire. I know we've not had this before, but from this particular moment, Whatever it is, let us look for it. And so, we can go by it. I've always said we cannot attend development in the faces of crisis. We cannot help one another in the situation of anarchy. Peace. Is the major ingredient for development. Not just for us, the members, but it's also needed in Bayasa. So, our meeting today is the coming together of two brothers. Here, 
we can answer rivers by answer. But when we're together, we still remain as one. As one.
full of intelligence. You could see from the eye of his eyes that he's passionate about peace. He's passionate about unity. He's passionate about development. But like I say a number of times, coming together is always a good beginning. Working together is progress. And doing other things together, of course, is progress. Our development, rather. And they say, with teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can always be achieved. And uh, Your Excellency, I just want to recall, and this today I also repeated it. I said, it's like 2024 portends good things for Bayosa State. And I think this is another sign. Um, like I used to say those days in the studio, that only a few people who make predictions make them come true. But I want to predict that this visit and this unity, this collaboration will bring forth wonderful things that both states will be proud of in the near future. That's just the thing. Your Excellency, the distinguished senator, the the miracle of women people's governor by our state. You listen to your brother governor with very keen interest. And uh, like we know you at some point, you nodded in agreement with him. But of course, I'm sure that will not serve the entire purpose. We would also like to say a word or two. Because on that note, I'd like to humbly request His Excellency, Distinguished Senator, by you to the miracle of an individual's governor by us to make his response. Shall we present this to the of me? Excellency, my dear wife, Your Excellency, my brother, Governor of River State, and very senior members of your entourage, members of the National Assembly here yeah, present, will be green and red chambers from both states and uh, all senior citizens of Rivers and Biosa states here yeah, present, uh, members of the fourth estate of the realm. Uh, there is one that I'd like to recognize very specially. He's a commissioner in uh, Biosa, but he's uh, a citizen of River states. The Honorable Commissioner for Egypt National Affairs, uh, Mr. Erasmus Patrick, is commander. He's a second tenor commissioner. <laughs> uh, I think that there can be no better time than now. Uh, we have envisaged this long before now. It could have been either way, either myself going to River State or my brother, Governor, coming to Bielsa. Uh, immediately after their elections, as you know, the whole of 2023 has been an election year, particularly for those of us who are in the off-circle elections. From February, we started and we just ended in November of 2023. So, at some point, uh, we have to face elections. So we face elections up until uh, the November 11th governorship elections in our state. And by God's grace, we are man victorious. And so we are happy. And that's why and that explains why we didn't take the first slots to actually come to River State to visit my brother the governor of River State. As has been said there, and uh, amplified by my brother governor, Rivers and Bielsa are one and the same. Uh, culture, uh, everything. And that's why even in the recent uh, uh, political misunderstandings that was going on in the state, I chose to be quiet. 
while I was quiet, we were also working behind the scenes so that there should be peace in River State. Whatever that happens in River State affects Files aspect and vice versa. And so uh, I'm happy that there is some relative, relative peace and we will continue to pray for peace to reign in River State so that uh, the governor will also have his own time to see his vision true in River State. And so, my brother, you are welcome. Welcome home. Welcome to your state, Bayelsa. Uh, the just are uh, the same uh, all across Nigeria, wherever we are. Our culture is the same, everything is the same. And even in this trial, I know by the time we leave this place, even if I don't say it, my own media men will ask, what would you say in this crisis? You have not been talking. Now that your brother governor is here, what is your own thinking on this? My thinking is that there has to be peace in River State. God should grant you the wisdom to pilot the affairs of River State. All you need now is God's wisdom. My brother, at this time, you must be tolerant. You must be patient because you are in the throne as a governor of the state. And when you are on that throne, like I keep saying, when you are in between those two flags, you only communicate with God. And when you communicate with God, God grants you the wisdom to do what is right, that the people will rejoice. The Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. So my prayer is for God to grant you the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding, so that you will bring River State from where it is to a greater height. And when River State is growing and developing, the spillover effect will be in Bielsa and vice versa, even during the crisis. It was almost turning to be an Ijo inquiry. And some people came to me and I said, no, it's not, Ijo people are not fighting equally people. It's nothing like that. We, we lived together in that state. Ijo's, Iquiris, Ogoni, and all the other ethnic groups, we lived together in old river states. There was no distinction of Ijo and as if one joy is fighting equally. No. No. And I'm sure all that is coming because the current occupant of the of the seat is of a jaw extraction. But I like to advise all of us that we should rather look for peace. Let us not escalate it. Let us bring peace so that the occupant of the throne will also have a clear head in pursuing his vision for the state. And sometimes you will think that, oh, this man has no vision. No. God knows why he brought him in at this point. <laughs> and it is those who you think that nothing will come out what can come out of this man? And those are the people that God has deposited so much. <laughs> so, let's give peace a chance to all both sides in the, in the crisis in River State. I call for peace. Call for understanding. So that Paelsa and Rivers we will see development across both states, across ethnic lines. I haven't said that. When you came to visit the former president, you called and said you were in my territory and that you came to see the former president and that thereafter you would just say hello before you, you leave. 
And later you called to say, unfortunately for other unforeseen circumstances, you are unable to see and act. Unfailingly, in this new year, you are going to visit me. I too, I thought that it was going to be a very private visit. So I had even told my, my media not to bother. But because of the visit of the former governor, the immediate past governor of the state, who had earlier chosen today to pay a New Year visit in my, to me in my country home. And when you now called, I said, ah, how am I going to manage these two big men? The sitting governor and my boss, the former governor. I said, okay, God will grant me the space to manage them. And uh, the former governor had been here for over some two, two to three hours now. And so we were almost through before I got the information that you are already here. And here we are with a very strong delegation of uh, people that we all know ourselves, most of them, either as colleagues or some of them as friends, and some of them we used to admire in those days, uh, we sometimes we have to tear up temporary stadium to go and watch and play football. Or you know that tree that was there. If we cannot climb the tree, then we get ourselves together and uh, make sure we tear that uh, zinc. Because the temporary stadium in those days was a zinc. Uh, most of you young ones, you don't know. <laughs> And that's why it was called Temporary Stadium. We must go and watch Sharks Football Club. So, uh, very many of you well known to me. So, I want to welcome you. And I'm sure that uh, you will give the right advice to the governor. And I'm sure that you will also be suing for peace. Because without peace, nothing can work. Nothing can work you must have it at the back of your mind at all times. We are human beings. Certainly there will be misunderstandings. Certainly. Certainly. If you go into the history of uh, predecessors and uh, successors, it has always been tough Italy. Always. Even the ones that uh, do not come to the public if you dig in, there are still things there. But they manage it and manage it until finally it is resolved. And I hope and pray that that of River State will be resolved. Amen. As a governor, now you owe so much to your people. The expectations of your people are high up there. There is so much that you have to do. And it is now. Four years looks like a very long time. But before you know, four years is like one year. If I, I didn't believe that I have finished my first tenor. But that is the truth. By this year, next month, I'm going in for a second tenor. Next month, February, I'm going to take another a fresh uh, out of office. So we think it's a long time. Some of these distractions, if they continue, you know, before you know, your whole four years is gone. And that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So you will be focused on the human and material development of your states. I listening to you, my heart also left for joy when you mentioned about our two states, how closely related we are, and um, the teething issues, of course. When in a marriage, you know, you are now separated, there will be issues, and those issues didn't start with us. Between myself and uh, your predecessor, we were trying to resolve some of them at a the point we couldn't. You are aware that uh, we have a lot of legal battles. 
up to the point that uh, uh, a house in uh, in uh, Potako was pulled down, and uh, the advice I got then was to most of our boys were saying, "Okay, let's go for war." So we are ready for war, and I said, "No, we have brothers and sisters. If." We now have our own boys going to fight. Who are we fighting? We are going to fight our own brothers there. Yeah. People will die. There are other ways and means of settling it. So I advise everybody and all those who came to advise for war. After I spoke to them, they all left it. Of course, you know, matters between two states. Go directly to the Supreme Court. Uh, from our paper, uh, His Excellency, the immediate past governor and our senator, who I earlier said uh, we have been engaged. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Yeah. So, we took the option of taking the matter to the Supreme Court. And that one is there, between Bios and Rivers. That matter is in Supreme Court. We also have, as you know, the uh, Soko oil, oil wells. That one, too, is in court. And I'm sure you have been well briefed. That's why you also mentioned that it is time for us to sit down and resolve these matters, whatever that is in court. And I agree with you 100 times. <laughs> Even war, they still come back to the table. After people have died and all that, they still come back to the table. So, I am very prepared, 100% prepared for both of us to talk and resolve these issues. So that there are two states, these are two sister states. We have administrative boundaries, but we have no cultural boundary. We have that cultural affinity. If there was a river state, a river state was yearned for by both Bielsa and Rivers. Our leaders opted for the creation of River State and for the development of River State. And incidentally, all the first two or so governors were from the Bielsa axis of uh, old River State. So, why should we be happy that there is a crisis in River State? No, a thousand times no. We will be interested in peace. However, in doing so also, there must be equity and justice. There must be equity and justice. You can't be talking about peace if there is no justice. There must be equity and justice. So that everybody will have that sense of belonging. That this state belongs to all of us. And we all have an interest in the growth of this state. And so my brother, uh, we are very happy today that you made up your mind to pay this new year visit and as god will have it a day that's not known to you it's unknown to you that the former my my boss the immediate past governor was visiting me this date was taken about a week ago about a week ago when i visited him and for you to call yesterday night that you were coming 
for me, it is only God. And it means that uh, something positive is coming our way in 2024. So on behalf of uh, your brothers in Bielsa, the government of the states, we welcome you to Bielsa. And we wish you a prosperous 2024. And we pray that God will protect you. We pray that God will protect your seats. Amen. We pray that God will grant you the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding to run the affairs of River State successfully. Amen. For us, you can always be sure of our collaboration, of our partnership, and of our support. Like my immediate uh, predecessor said, this whole thing is a relay race. It's a relay race. As you end, you hand, you, you hand it back to another who will take up the, the race. And so it depends on your skill while you are running. Otherwise, you will take the last or you take the first position, depending on your skill. And the moment you hand over the pattern, that is the end of it. The next person continues with the race. What is life? What is life? Life is this relationship that we have. That today, we can see most of our friends of old times, and we say, ah, old boy, how are you? Long time. That's life. That when we see hereafter, we can still smile at each other. Not minding whatever material wealth you have. The Bible says it's vanity of uh, vanity. What is more important is this relationship that we have between rivers and Bielsa. Whether we are from Okreka, we are from Opopo, whether we are from Ogoni, Ikwere, Eche, I have a lot of friends from Ikwere, I have a lot of friends from Eche. Of course, the Ogoni, I have a lot of friends. Enjoy extraction. So many. So, what do we want? Do we want River State to be boiling and burning? No, a thousand times no. So we will all, whatever we are doing, is to ensure that River State, the fire is quenched. Where there is fire, you don't have more fire to eat, to put off the fire. And that's what we will all do. And so my brother will be rest assured that uh, there will be a new boss now be people oriented. For those of us who are in the saddle, for those of us who are politicians, let us look at serving our people. Because if we serve our people very well, we have indirectly served God. Uh, the former governor used to say, he who, he who serves uh, uh, people, uh, uh, that's the way he used to put it, who serves man well, serves God. Because at this point in your life, I don't think it is money you need again. At this point in your life, wherever you go to, you are looking at the high, the low, the poor, and the rich, particularly the poor that God has put in your hands. Ditto for me and every other person who is in a position of authority. It is not a time for any of us to preach. It's a season for us to reflect about our country, about our states. If we travel out and we see good things, 
we see law and order. Why should there be no law and order in Nigeria? Have we asked ourselves why? Why are we lawless? Why do we call black white and white black? That way we cannot grow. That way our democracy will not grow. And I believe that the federal government led by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who himself was a governor and understands most of what it is before becoming a president. And in fact, a governor that was even oppressed, where all of his local government monies were seized by the federal government. Now, this is the time for the restructuring of this country. As somebody who has gone through the thick and thin of democracy, and now in that saddle of the president, I hope and pray and I believe that the president has what he takes to ensure that our democracy will not die, to ensure that our democracy will thrive by restructuring this country in the way and manner that the states will approximate their authority and the federal government will be limited to only federal issues. Their responsibility for their own states, resources in their states, and manage them. If they cannot manage them, the people of the state will know that it is the failure of the government of the state. So uh, we appeal to Mr. President, who we believe is a Daniel that has come to judgment. And with what he has done so far, particularly in uh, my elections of the governorship in November 11th, where he has shown that he's a true and very true Democrat who didn't interfere with the electoral process and allowed for free and fair elections. We salute you for that. And we believe that you will take the elections in Bayelsa, elections in our country. For this year, my brother Singh, both of us will have to come together much more closely than we have done in 2023. We have never met like this. On one or two occasions, yes, uh, we made a calls. But it could be explained, 2023 has its own peculiar challenges. But this is 2024. We have to close ranks. Let us see. We used to have a priest, priest commission. Why wouldn't we resuscitate the Brace Commission? We used to host governor's meetings across our different states. And it is time to revive so much of that. <laughs> and more importantly, between Rivers and Bayelsa, there is nothing, nothing. Both states now. We are too much in common. Rather than war, war, it is time to jaw, jaw. So, your coming today is one that we will hold and we will never forget. It's a memory that we will never forget. And uh, like I told my predecessor today, I'm also going to be an Idiami. Now that you are taking the first shot, I will also retaliate. I will retaliate when the date, uh, not yet known, but I will let you know. So that I will also come to Port Harcourt and I pay you a New Year visit. 
So once again, I'd like to thank you and uh, all of our very senior citizens from River State who are here, who came in the governor's central line. We thank you. We appreciate you. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you and God bless you.